Welcome to Blue Helm Space News Brief. It's back to normal operations for Mars 2020, and as of right now, it's put a million miles on the odometer. That means it only has about 290 million more miles to go. That's it. And these are today's top headlines. China on Friday officially commissioned its Baidu satellite navigation system, which it hopes will rival United States global positioning system. The People's Liberation Army, PLA, of China's military have been using GPS for positioning and communication purposes, but now will switch to Baidu. The U.S. Air Force said earlier that its pilots often wore watches capable of accessing the Baidu system in the event of GPS being jammed. Baidu also has many civilian applications, including in smartphone chips like Qualcomm Snapdragon and Huawei Kirin. Unlike GPS, Europe's Galileo, and Russia's GLONASS, Baidu offers a text messaging service which enables communication between users and the ability to trace user locations in emergency situations. This week we're asking you to marvel at the beauty of the planet Saturn, as it appears at its brightest throughout the month of August, during its opposition from the Sun. Saturn reached peak opposition on July 20th and will be visible for sky gazers throughout the month of August, appearing at its brightest until August 9th. Saturn's disks and rings will be fully illuminated from our view. You can see the planet with an unaided eye, but a pair of binoculars will help you see it better. Additionally, if you want to get a view of Saturn's illuminated rings, then a small telescope will come in handy. Could we see Tom Cruise in a space movie? Or perhaps Mission Impossible in space? Well, maybe we will. And according to Deadline, revealed earlier in May, Cruise is working on a space set action adventure that he was serious about doing, and Musk would be involved. According to the Deadline article, listed in the show notes, Universal execs have committed a large sum of money for production, so maybe we'll see a movie in space, filmed in space, and based in space. I'm looking forward to it. The women of the 2nd Space Operations Squadron made history as the first ever all-female space operations crew July 23rd, 2020 at Shriver's Air Force Base in Colorado. The crew gained satellite control acceptance of SVN-76, officially adding another satellite to the GPS-3 fleet. Quote, it's like the grandparents parents handed keys to the parent, then the parent hands keys to us, unquote, said First Lieutenant Kelly McCaw, second SOB satellite vehicle operator. Quote, when a new satellite is launched, we don't have full authority of it. Lockheed Martin takes it over after launch, and then we bring it into our system, and then we actually gain full control of the satellite as a squadron, unquote. The crew included eight uniform second and 19th SOPs airmen who gained SCA of the satellite. The first Proton launch of the year took place July 30th, carrying two satellites for the Russian Satellite Communications Company. Russia planned three Proton launches for 2020 at the beginning of the year, but it's not clear if or how the three-month delay will impact the schedule of future missions. The Air Force announced July 30th that the Navigation Technology Satellite 3 on June 25th passed a critical design review, allowing the contractor L3 Harris to move forward with production on the spacecraft. L3 Harris will integrate the NTS-3 payload with an ESPA Star bus for a planned 2022 launch. The goal is to show that a spacecraft in higher geosynchronous orbit can supplement the global positioning system that operates from medium Earth orbit. Space News Brief is brought to you by Future Shredding. They specialize in contactless on-site shredding based in Southern California. Whether you're looking for one-time shredding or a customized pickup schedule, Future Shredding would be happy to help you figure that out. They service commercial and residential, so anyone that's home because of COVID, they will gladly come to your house as well. So visit their website at www.futureshredding.com or give them a call at 562-426-0557. Again, that's 562-426-0557. Zero five five seven. So we calm down here at the end of the week with law and policy. That's good. Let's take a breath. We'll calm down just a little bit. We're looking forward to Sunday for the safe return of SpaceX crew, right? And uh, we had a great week, guys. It's been a wonderful couple weeks that we've been doing this. I'm having a blast doing it. I hope you guys are enjoying listening to me. I might annoy myself, but I hope I don't annoy you. So if you guys can, and I ask that you will, subscribe, rate, and review. It helps us out. So anyway, drink your water. I'll talk to you on Monday.